voted as a Pro Bowl, not only as a get voted into the Pro Bowl, but as a starter. What does that mean for you in your first season to be voted as a starter? In the Pro Bowl? It means a lot to me, honestly. Um, for me, the biggest thing is just like, uh, you know, it means I got the respect of the fans, players, and coaches, uh, which to me is just a huge deal and a huge honor. Um, you know, obviously the goal is to be busy that week, you know, preparing for the Super Bowl, but still, it's a great feeling, and I'm excited to keep building. Yeah, you know, I wasn't like, it wasn't something that like I had set out to do, you know, like one of my preseason goals, but still, nonetheless, like it was a surprise, but it was like. Really, I'm just honored. Like, it's such a cool thing to to be able to say. I really appreciate being selected. Um, but, you know, I just, as a team, we got bigger goals. How did you find out, and uh, what was the reaction of your family? Uh, I just found out. People started texting me. I guess people found out before I did. Uh, so I kind of, people were congratulating me over text. I was like, oh, shoot, I must have made it. So. I don't think so, just because, you know, logging on to Twitter and Instagram, you can see, like, Chargers fans coming really strong. You know, they were extremely great, honestly, just super supportive, and that's been the case since I've been here. Um, so that doesn't come as any surprise to me. Chargers fans are the best. I don't know if you noticed this time, but I think your dad had a campaign. You took a picture with yeah. dad, and that kind of picked up the team. Yeah, I saw that. How was seeing that against the your dad as well? It's awesome. Like, like I said, like, I have so many people – to thank for that, you know, my fiance, my dad, like really everyone who kind of went out on a limb and just like put that out there. Um, I'm just thankful. How about, how about the homecoming? The Chiefs been playing in your hometown this game. But how big is it? It's a really cool opportunity. Uh, something I've kind of looked at since I got drafted and saw the schedule that we'd be here on Christmas. Uh, kind of a, a cool opportunity just growing up a Texans fan to be able to go out there and play around family on Christmas. Uh, you know, I think we've got, you know, some special stuff going on. And I think easily we have a few guys that should have been in too. Um, so, I mean, really what stands out to me, though, is like the way we look at it as a team. Like we're so focused on, you know, going one on this week and like making that push in the playoffs that like I don't even think it's a huge deal to us. Like not that we don't appreciate it, but it's just like, you know, ultimately your goal is to win the Super Bowl and that's what we're so focused on. But I think it speaks a lot to the talent we have and the – how bright the future is here. How have you been able to quickly adapt to the NFL style? And especially with sitting out last year, how, how do you feel like you were able to quickly adapt to the, the style of the NFL? I think, um, you know, I had a lot of great people around me as far as, like, training. Uh, Duke Miniweather, my trainer in Texas. Uh, Kurt Anderson, my O-line coach. And also just the guys on this team. Uh, Frank Smith, my O-line coach. Like, really, I've just had so many great people around me who are, have been kind of, like, guiding me in that direction of, you know, realizing what it takes at this level and, like, what you got to do to succeed. You know, like, Brian, when I first got here, was a, such a huge help to me, uh, just teaching me, like, you know, this is what you got to do at tackle in the NFL if you want to win. And, you know, same with Corey, Matt, all those guys. So, really, I'm just blessed to be here. And you mentioned being a Texas fan. Have you been to games in that stadium? Yeah. And, and have you played in that stadium? I've never played there, no. So. Uh, you know, a few. Um, my family actually grew up uh, Broncos fans, so I was kind of like the one, odd one out. I kind of like the Texans growing up because I was born in Denver. But, um, yeah, I mean, definitely just a really exciting opportunity. I think uh, the hardest transition, I'd say, was pass blocking just because in college guys aren't as skilled as rushers. You know, like in the NFL, like guys have moves. Uh, and they have like multiple and they can switch it up and they can put two or three together whereas in college usually if you can beat one move like that's the end of the rep um, so I say that's the biggest adjustment just like being ready to see like all these different sorts of things from a rusher instead of just like getting bull rushed every play like in college that was tough um, you know I feel like you know a lot of people are going through that right now in the NFL and just you know around the country around the world with you know what's going on right now but um you know I, it was it was good like I had the support of all my teammates and family and you know I personally uh I wasn't that sick so from that standpoint I was all right but you know really I just knew like all I can do is control what I can control 
you know, try to hydrate, rest, and get back. And thankfully, I am. So. Has um, anybody kind of taken you by surprise this season? Were they like Miles Garrett or some of these pass rushers that you you've got to face some of the top notch in the NFL? Anybody kind of taking you by surprise, whether their strength, their moves, anything like that? Um, I would say no, just because like I see it all week on film, like going against Miles Garrett, like I've seen what he's capable of doing, so it's not like surprising, but it's just like a challenge to get ready for. So you feel like you've been well prepared for the game going into every game? Yeah, I felt that way. Have any of these veterans come to you after the game and say, "Hey, you're actually pretty good for a rookie," something like that? Um, there's been a couple times, yeah, like uh, Trey Henderson, he's a really good player. Um, he says something like that to me after the Cincy game. Obviously, he he got me that game, so. I feel like, for me, like getting the respect for my peers, like it means so much to me. Uh, just coming in as a rookie, and like, you know, I feel like hearing it from other players, just, players just always means so much because you know they go through the same thing and they know what they're talking about, you know, as much as anyone.